Right number of moles, three from the three. And she's got Te1, and then the five from the sulfur. She's got the mass from the periodic table correct. As she added them all up, and she got 361. Nice job, Hannah. Excellent job, Colin. So, plus five for you. And number 19, Hannah. What are the coefficients that will balance the skeleton equation below 50.32? And 20, go ahead, Hannah. Okay. When the following equation is balanced, what is the coefficient of HCl? And it's 8, 2. And 21. All right, Heather. All right, who's got the next one? Garrett? No, I did not. Okay, did you do it? 23. Okay, so 23 is... 23 is D. 23 is D. 24. All right, Anna. 22 was... D. Oh, you're good. Every single one I've gotten wrong, the answer is D. And it's really simple. Because you didn't know. What are the missing coefficients for the skeleton equation below? B, 2, 3, 3, 2. And 25. Anybody 25? 25 is B. Oh, I had it. <laughs> All right, 26. All right, uh, Anna? In this equation, which are the reactants? And it's C, A plus B. And 27, Anna? I'll do it. Oh. Go ahead, Gary. Um, 27. Yeah. <coughs> what are the correct formulas uh, and the coefficients for the products of the following double replacement reactions? Uh, uh, C. And 28, Anna? Now this was on your homework last night, so check these answers. Wait, hold on, what element is it? Taking this directly from your homework. Oh, is this MG? Yes. Uh, and then we're going to add all of them up, and this is a total mass. Oh, we're adding all these? Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. We're from yesterday for the CO2, 44. T, it's element T. Oh, okay. All of these. What is this equal? Um, that is, I'm not sure the common name for it, magnesium something. Uh, TE is tech. Oh, it's teller, tellurium. Teller, tellurium. Tellurium? Teller, tellurium. Tellurium. I just don't say it very often. So, tellurium. Tellurium. So it looks like magnesium tellurium sulfide. This is most likely a polyatomic ion.
360.5 grams of magnesium, tellurium. What is it? T is. Tellurium? Yeah, is it tellurium? Yeah. And sulfur, right? Sulfur. It's called uh, magnesium thiotellurite. Magnesium thiotellurite. Zane, it's called magnesium thiotellurite. It's on the page. Yeah. And this one was in your homework last night as well. And it's copper two cyanide. Copper two cyanide. This would kill you, cyanide. Very deadly. If you didn't know that. I don't. Sorry. Go to the nurse. This would be um, magnesium, capital N G. Yeah. This would be T E and sulfur. You're just naming the substance. Grams, yes. It's grams. But it's actually uh, tellurium, which would be the element. And then S is sulfur. M G is magnesium. So the moles cross out, so it'll be just grams. So the moles cross out. One says, how many atoms are in 4Ca3PO42? So let's write that off the board here. Now the first thing I do is find out how many I have for one. So I'm going I'm to take out the four first. So how many do I have here? How many CAs are there? There's three. How many POs do you see? Or how many P's do you see there? There's there's two P's, right? There's two P's, right? Does everybody see the two P's? How many oh, how many O's are there? Uh, four times two is eight. When you say two P O four, you basically have two of these. If you want to look at it that way, the two tells you have two of them. So you have one, two, right? And you have four of this oxygen. That's where the eight's coming from. Does everybody see that? All right. Now we're going to take the four out front. We're going to mess with that just a second. Let's add all this up. We got three plus two is five. Five plus eight is five plus eight is thirteen. So four times thirteen is. It's kind of sad. Four times thirteen is. 52. And is that an answer on the test? Yes, it's A. Somebody see that? Are you about to do letter B? Am I got B? I right, go ahead, Dinah. Yeah, I'm number two, that is. Correct. In a double replacement reaction, one of the products. And number three. Uh, Gabrielle? No, I'm not. I got number three. TT? Number four? Uh, what'd you say two was, Diane? Two was A. Three. Four. Gabriel? The equation is an example of which type of reaction I'm 
Number five. Uh, let's go with um, Michaela. Which type of chemical reaction is shown in the Six. Diana. Seven, uh, Sierra. Um, which type of chemical reaction is shown? I got C. Eight. Okay. Which type of reaction is SiO2 plus H or HF yield SiF4 plus H2O? And I got A. Nine. Carlos. What are the correct coefficients for this chemical coefficients balanced? And I said A. Ten. Uh, Diane. Ten. Gabriel? No. Oh, eleven. Sorry. What is the balanced chemical reaction for the reaction? Equation for the reaction that takes place between bromine and sodium iodide. And number twelve. T two. Which of the following is correctly balanced equation for the complete production of heptene with that uh, C? Thirteen? Uh Dan? Fourteen. Uh, let's go advance. Uh, what are the correct coefficients when the equation is balanced? And fifteen. How about uh, Michaela? In the chemical equation, uh, is a B. Sixteen. Uh, let's go with Harrison. Identify the type of reaction shown by this chemical equation. I put a B. And 17, a Sierra. In order to predict whether or not a single replacement reaction takes place, we need to consult a chart that shows the, and I'll put D. 18, uh, let's go with uh, Gabriel. Which, which are the products of this chemical reaction? FECO3 plus NH4OH. And I put D. 19, okay. What are the coefficient, coefficients that balance the skeleton equation below? And I put D. 20. Of what? D. Sierra. Um, when the following equation is balanced, what is the coefficient for HCl? I put B. 21. Uh, Diane. The reaction 2FE plus 3CL2 yields 2FE3L3 is a simple which type of reaction? A. 22. Uh, Carlos? Right, I have a question. That's a D. Uh, 23. Who is D? Carlos? Um, which of the following is the correct for the reaction that takes place when solid phosphorus combines with oxygen gas to form diphosphorus dioxide? And that's a D. And 24. Alright, Carlos. And 25. Let's go with uh, Harrison. Uh, what are the second ions in the reaction? I'll put it And 26. Uh, Cameron? Uh, in this equation, which are the reactions? I'll put it C. 27. Uh, Annette? Oh. Twenty-eight. Uh, Francesca. Which type of reaction can be recognized by the general pattern? Uh, I got D. Twenty-nine. Uh, Jacob. Which of the following is a balanced equation representing the de decomposition of lead for oxide? D. Thirty. Like a fourteen. George. Yes. Thirty-one. Gabe. In order for the reaction 2AL plus 6HCl yields the 2AL Cl3 plus 3H2 
to occur, which of the following must be true? Uh, I got D. And 32. Sean, write this down. These will be notes. Now, if you already understand this, that's good. What you might not be able to do is put it in the calculator. Many of you are not, I guess you would say, haven't done this enough, put exponents in the calculator. And you will do that. Exponents are used quite often in the business world because people now buy things in bulk. So you have large numbers. So you've got to get familiar with using exponents. And that's going to be what? What's the unit going to be? It's going to be grams ZN. Grams ZN 2 plus. Yeah, because it's all there. It's ion, yeah. Yeah. 
Now, it would be difficult to get that as an ion. It most likely would be a salt. It would be something with it, but that would be the amount of zeon in present in the, let's say, salt. We've got two of them in there. Awesome. You've got them. Now, I don't think they want you to put it on there tight. Just put it on there where it's like. Just put it like this. Yeah. Looks like it would go in this way. Yeah, like I think they just want you to put it on loosely. Right. I read part of the instructions, and you can we'll tighten it down later. Okay. All right. Oh, you can't do it. I think you're off just a tad. You need to line your holes yeah, up just a little bit better. You might want to try to get the rubber mallet. You might need to use a screwdriver to kind of lift it up a little bit. A little bit. What else? Deep And then you can maybe see where it's opening up there. You see where it's opening up? We need to get it into the stick. Buddy, that's why you need to get it. Don't hit my fingers. This is probably going to be a little hard. You might get it. Yeah. You're making progress. Is that? Try to hit straight. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Good job. Awesome. Progress. There we go. You can be, you can hit it a little bit with metal. Is that thing F seventeen? Not worried about it. I think it is. Hit it with metal. There you go. Put it You can use the screwdriver now to kind of work your way back out. That's good. Now I would have a bolt ready. Oftentimes they have these things that um, you can feed through there. The iron man. Try to get like a screwdriver over there. Oftentimes they'll use an awl to line up the um, two openings you're trying to bring together. Hammer. Nico. Okay, well you Hammer this. try to mallet it. Oh yeah. Let me get progress here to the right. There might be another hammer over there in the box. Let's see if you can find it. There you go. That's really good. Make good progress there. Let's see if you can get this one through. Now. Tap on it a little bit. Close. But even then, that's not as close as going that way. That's, that's good. Now put a bolt on that. They can't find the right angle. Like, straight, it's tilted slightly, so this one isn't going to fit in like that one. You can go like this right here. Yay. Are you close there? Yeah. Looks like you're pretty close. Yeah. Try it again. Got Try it, it now. More than it was before, and I, I can see it, but I screw on You should be able to drive it through there. With, I would use this one to push it through. You got to start it. Just keep your eye. When you hit a nail, you want to you you your keep your eye right here. So you want to come around a little bit to where you're keeping your, your eye on the head. So you don't hit your finger. Now you're going to want to try to move it just a tad. See if you can't tap on it now. All you're trying to do is then move it a little bit and tap it again. And then tap it. 